Hi there, I'm Tommy Ferris from Ignition Fitness and welcome to another episode of MSC TV. Today we're here to talk about the Gravenhurst Triathlon and I've got some great strength training tips that are going to help you get through this race feeling better and stronger than ever. But before we get started, let's take a look at the course. We can't talk about the Gravenhurst Triathlon without talking about the swim start from an authentic Muskoka steamship, a truly unique experience which has helped to win this course several Reader's Choice Awards over the years for best course. For all race distances except the Give It A Try event, triathletes will make their way to the dock to board the steamship and be carried out to an open water start. From there, you'll follow the boys to the dock, exit the water, and make your way to the transition area. On the bike, you'll start with a long, tough climb into some residential streets before making your way out to the beach road, which is a beautiful, winding, tree-covered road with plenty of tough climbs and short little ups and downs. The only flat part of this course is the approach to the turnaround in the full-length Olympic distance race. Otherwise, it's all on the twists and turns and ups and downs of the beach road as you make your way back to transition. On the run, it's more tough climbs and little ups and downs the entire stretch, and your legs are probably going to be spent from the tough ride you just finished. The good news is this run course is easy to navigate because you'll be on North Muldrew Lake Road for almost all of it, no matter which distance you're racing. If doing the full Olympic try, you'll hit six aid stations along the way. This is a challenging course made difficult by those quick and constant elevation changes. Now because of that, chances are you're going to be in and out of your air position a lot on the bike. So when you get to the run, your quads and all of your core muscles that help keep you upright while running are going to be more tired than usual. And if you already have a weak core, weak glutes, hamstrings and hips, which most triathletes do, you may find yourself running in that scooped over position that we see a lot of triathletes running in. So what I have for you today are five very simple and very effective exercises that are going to strengthen your core, your hips, your glutes, and your hamstrings, and help you run better off the bike, especially in a course like Gravenhurst. Let's get started. First up are side leg lifts, which are going to especially target your glutes, but your hips and core will benefit as well. Lying on your side, bend your bottom knee for support and fully extend your upper leg. Keep your shoulders, hips, and foot in line and lift your upper legs slightly behind you to target your glutes. We keep our legs slightly behind us to make sure we're not targeting our quads. Focusing on our hip abductors. For lateral band walks, you'll use a resistance band while you step out to one side and resist the opposite movement. Don't allow the band to pull your foot back for you. Keep a good posture and be sure not to bend from your hips. Hanging from a pull-up bar, or in my case, a goal post, bend and bring your knees as close to your chest as you can. This is going to work your entire core as well as your hip flexors, so be sure to stop your feet at the end of each rep to make sure it is your hip flexors that are engaging to bring your knees back up. An easier alternative to this movement is to only bring your knees up so they're parallel with the ground while adding in a pelvic twist, eliminating the second half of the movement. There is a similar suspension trainer version of this exercise, it's called the mountain climber. With both feet in the soft loops of your suspension trainer, the movement is identical with our knees coming right up to our chest. But now you're doing this from the plank position so there's an added core benefit. However, your hip flexors won't be engaged as much as when you were hanging. Another suspension trainer exercise is the hamstring runner, which is the reverse of the mountain climb. So this time we have our heels in the soft loop. The key here is to keep our hips off the ground while we bring our knees to our chest and make sure that your suspension trainer isn't sawing back and forth. Keep both feet level at all times with even tension on the heels. A similar non-suspension trainer version of this exercise is to just line your back, bring your arms and knees up so your feet are parallel with the ground, engage your core, and extend opposite arm to opposite leg while keeping your hips on the ground. The last exercise I have for you is the pike, which is one of my favorites, and starts and finishes in the plank position with our suspension trainer. What you want to do here is drive your hips straight up by engaging those hard to target deep abdominal muscles. This is another one of those exercises that is going to hit many of our underdeveloped core and running muscles. Be sure to come down here to the end of the movement with plenty of control. Don't let gravity do the work for you. You can do a similar version of this exercise with an inflatable gym ball, rolling the ball towards you as you raise your hips. 
lab. Doing these exercises a couple of times a week are going to have huge benefits on your running performance, especially as you're building towards grave mothers. These exercises are really going to pay off on this course. I'm Tommy Ferris, head coach of Ignition Fitness, and be sure to swing by our website to check out even more training videos. And coming up in the next episode of MSC TV are some tips to help get you through the bike course at the Coburg Triathlon. Thanks for watching.